Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, food liquor, shills, depths, slicers, peasants, vassals, minions, banker scum. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, what's actually kind of a hot topic, and that's this whole idea of inversion. Uh, this came up recently with this uh, big case with uh, Burger King, and essentially they are going to have a Canadian company um, uh, buy them out, or they're going to buy into, and then they will transfer their tax liabilities to their headquarters. Uh, in Canada, and thereby get a getting a much lower tax rate. So in the United States, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the corporate tax rate's 36, 36 percent, 35 percent, and uh, the supposed uh, corporate tax rate is uh, 35, 36 percent. But anyway, uh, by moving Canada, uh, Burger King will be uh, getting a tax rate. I think somewhere around 15 percent. But uh, that's kind of a moot point in a way, uh, because as it turns out, uh, U.S. corporations, according to the Government Accounting Office, pay an average uh, corporate tax rate of around 12.6%. And that was back in 2010, so they've had time to gain the system since then. But hardly anything uh, close to the, uh, the uh, 35 or 36% tax rate that they whine about now as if uh, it's crushing their uh, be, the ability to, to compete when their their average is 12.6 percent, and as we also know, because of a lot of subsidiaries and uh, uh, sweetheart deals with the government, a lot of these corporations like G, GE don't end up paying any uh, corporate taxes whatsoever. So all the more reason why uh, they don't they don't uh, have any right to whine about uh, these corporate tax rates. And uh, as it turns out, um, the the story kind of popped up for me because I was uh, reading a story about Citigroup, and uh, they've managed to, uh, they've lost uh, 2,000, over 2,000 subsidiaries, 2,061 subsidiaries have all, all of a sudden disappeared. But uh, their holding assets in 2009 were $1.85 trillion, and their holding assets in 2014 are $1.89 trillion, so they're still... Uh, the same holding assets, and yet somehow 2,000 subsidiaries disappeared uh, nearly overnight uh, that are still there. So uh, what an interesting phenomenon. So as it turns out, uh, these uh, tax shelters, these tax havens, uh, these uh, inversions are one of the ways that uh, th these kind of things uh, are being done. And it turns out a whole bunch of people are doing them. Um, in uh, 2013, there's an article in the Wall Street Journal attached below. Oracle, uh, the company Oracle, in 2010 had 400 subsidiaries. Two years later, in 2012, it only had eight, and five of those were in Ireland. Google, in 2009, had 100 subsidiaries, including 81 in Bermuda, Hong Kong, and the Antilles, uh, all known tax shelters. And then in 2012, they only had two subsidiaries, uh, went from 100 to two in three years. Uh, and those are both in Ireland, another known tax shelter. FedEx in 2008 had 150 uh, subsidiaries. In 2009, a year later, only had 23 subsidiaries. Raytheon, uh, this is even better. 2003, it had 250 subsidiaries worldwide and now has zero. And uh, so, as we know, U.S.-based multinationals use offshore subsidiaries to avoid paying taxes. And uh, this inversion uh, system makes it very, very simple. And uh, GE and Apple are the only U.S.-based companies who keep more money offshore than Microsoft. So let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft keeps $92.9 billion of its earnings offshore, and uh, thereby saving themselves, according to at least the uh, uh, known corporate tax rate, $29.6 billion in taxes. Uh, spike from the previous years of uh, using these offshore uh, uh, earnings offshore to avoid taxes. Uh, so everybody's uh, uh, been indulging in this in the post-economic crisis world in another way that they've gamed the system, uh, manipulated, and then uh, uh, grow their wealth off of it. And um, Microsoft says earnings were generated from its non-U.S. subsidiaries, and then it was reinvested outside the U.S., but in, in fact, it turns out Microsoft 
shifts $21 billion, or almost half of its U.S. retail sales net revenue, saving up to $4.5 billion in taxes on goods uh, both made and sold in the United States. So there's an obvious example of shifting uh, money that should be taxed uh, right here in the U.S., shifted offshore uh, so they can save on paying taxes, even though, as we know, uh, certainly Microsoft is not hurting for money, and yet they still use these systems. Uh, but in fact, as it turns out, uh, Microsoft knows exactly what it's doing, and they put into words what every uh, corporation in America is saying. Uh, in 2012, in a U.S. Senate testimony, a Microsoft spokesman said, quote, Microsoft's tax results follow from its business, which is fundamentally a global business that requires us to operate in foreign markets in order to compete and grow. In conducting our business at home and abroad, we abide by U.S and foreign tax laws as written. That is not to say that the rules cannot be improved. To the contrary, we believe they can and should be." Unquote. So uh, that essentially is saying, uh, fuck you, uh, that is the tax law, and we can legally take advantage of it and save all this money, and there's nothing you can do about it. And uh, But we'll kowtow to you and the public by saying, uh, yeah, we think there should be tax reform, but not to close these loopholes, but to uh, codify them even more. So anyway, that's my paraphrase. But uh, Microsoft uh, was one of these companies that once disclosed more than 100 subsidiaries, and by 2003 they were already down to 13, and in 2012 down to 11. So they've been taking advantage of this, uh, shifting uh, these assets overseas uh, for quite some time. and. Uh, and one of the reasons why this uh, whole system is uh, uh, put in place, or how it stays in place, is there's SEC rules that demand disclosure only when subsidiary operations are considered, quote, significant, unquote. So with that vague wording um, that was no doubt written by uh, these corporations themselves, uh, they are able to uh, quantify themselves what is significant and what is not. And uh, that's how easily it works uh, with the uh, this legal mumbo jumbo uh, that these uh, PACs, regulations, and agreements are made. Uh, so stuff like this can be buried in there, uh, landmines that give uh, huge advantages. So uh, companies can now limit information about offshore operations, particularly operating in tax havens, with, which is what all their all these companies are doing. What this is all about. Uh, one report estimates that two trillion dollars is held offshore by Fortune 500 companies, saving about $550 billion, billion dollars paid in taxes uh, in the United States. So uh, they're uh, definitely uh, grateful for all, all the help that uh, the United States and the United States military has given them over the years. Um, 28, 28 of those companies paid less than 10% tax on that offshore money. And as I pointed out already, um, this uh, government accounting office says that the average uh, corporate tax rate in the United States is actually 12.6%. Uh, That's what's actually paid, and, and as I pointed out already as well, uh, most of them pay uh, zero, or a lot of them. Um, and in fact, 70% of the co companies that operate in the U.S. Uh, under, under foreign uh, titles pay no taxes. And, uh, and also, a new 2014 report says that American companies have gained the international and domestic tax rules better than anyone else. It isn't about competition. And that's the, the real kicker here in, in all this because we have uh, all these companies uh, whining about they don't really want to move overseas. They have to uh, because the corporate tax rates in the United States are so punishing and all this uh, the other hocus pocus. Um, and uh, according to a lot of uh, things, I believe, um, in some ways, there shouldn't be a corporate tax rate, there should, but I also believe there shouldn't be an income tax and, uh, and uh, the like. But uh, that's a, a whole other argument. But let's say corporations are taxed, a uh, fair tax system, uh, certainly this is not. Uh, it's completely game like uh, everything else in the financial system. And uh, corporations are uh, taking full advantage of it because they uh, created it. And uh, we live in their world. So there we have a little bit about inversion, Burger King, Microsoft, uh, all the rest. Um, 
skipping out on their taxes. I'm useful aid. Don't you be one too.